Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorial series. In this video tutorial series, we are going to understand PHP in detail, in depth, step by step. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to discuss what is PHP. PHP is one of the most popular open source server side scripting language, especially meant for developing web applications. PHP is one of the most popular open source server side scripting language, especially meant for developing web applications. As I told, PHP is one of the most popular scripting language. Why? According to the survey report from w3text.com, around 10 million plus websites use at least some or other PHP scripts to generate their pages. If you observe carefully the statistics, 2.6% of the websites use Java, 15.1% of the websites use ASP.NET, and 82.6% of the websites use PHP. So PHP is the first most used server-side scripting language. JSP stands for Java Server Pages, ASP stands for Active Server Pages, PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor. JSP from Java technology, ASP is from Microsoft and uh, PHP is from Zend technologies. Many of the world's largest and fastest growing organizations like Facebook, Wikipedia, Flickr, Google, Yahoo, Tumblr, WordPress, SourceForgeNet, etc. etc. use at least some or other PHP scripts to generate their pages. PHP is one of the most popular open source scripting language. What is the meaning of open source? Softwares whose original source code is freely available to use, read, modify and extend are considered as open source. PHP is also an open source because its original source code is freely available to read, modify, extend and use. PHP is developed or implemented or written using C and C++. PHP is one of the most popular open source server-side scripting language. We have two kinds of scripting languages. One is client-side scripting language. Another one is server-side scripting language. First, we understand what is scripting language. And then we understand what is server-side scripting language. So let's understand the difference between programming language and scripting languages. In computer world, we find wide variety of languages. We find programming languages, scripting languages, query languages, markup languages, style sheet language, etc, etc, etc. Here we are going to understand the difference between programming language and scripting language. Actually, scripting languages are programming languages, but there is a slight difference between them. Programming languages are meant to develop softwares like Word, Excel, Photoshop, Flash, operating system, engines, browsers, drivers, etc, etc, etc. Whereas scripting languages are meant to add functionalities or extend the capabilities of already built softwares. C, C++, C Sharp, Java are considered as programming languages. With the help of them, we develop softwares. Whereas JavaScript, PHP, ActionScript, VBScript, etc. are considered as scripting languages. With the help of them, we extend the capabilities of already built softwares. For example, JavaScript and PHP are used to extend the capabilities of browsers. Whereas ActionScript is used to extend the capabilities of Adobe Flash, Air, VBScript is one of the most popular scripting language which is used in the web world as well as used in the Microsoft products like Word, Excel to extend their capabilities. There are two types of scripting languages we have, client-side scripting languages and server-side scripting languages. Client-side scripts are executed on the client machine or user machine, whereas server-side scripts are executed on the server or remote machine. That is the difference between client-side scripting languages and server-side scripting languages. Client-side scripts are executed on the client machine or user machine by the browsers, whereas server-side scripts are executed on the server or the remote machine by engines. The example for client-side scripting language is JavaScript, whereas the example for server-side scripting language is PHP. Note. PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor. The original name was 
personal home page later it is changed to hypertext preprocessor remember this php is one of the most popular open source server side scripting language i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly in the next video tutorial we get more information on php for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial